I'm back. Well, what's it all about today? Well, it's all about one of these. This one happens to be uh, an Epiphone SG Custom. Very nice guitar too. It's been modified a little bit. And it's going to be modified a little bit more just to get rid of what I call the SG problem. No, not that it's made by Gibson. That's not a problem. It's not actually made by Gibson, as you know, probably. But all SGs, bearing in mind that Gibson was the inventor of SGs, all SGs that I've ever used suffer from one thing. And it, it relates to a heavy neck. Not this one. This one. So when you're standing here, like an idiot, trying to show you, I don't need to do much to... To, to, to have this guitar drop down here and it, it really does drop down. you can see it moving a bit but it, it does actually when I, when I sort of you'll get it you see then if I turn around down it goes yeah and the, and the problem with it is it always does it at a time that you don't want it to do it when I'm standing in that other room and I'm recording and I've got to reach across you can see it going now. Down it goes and then you... This usually hits something. Well, it's not good enough for me. And it wasn't good enough either for Tony Iommi, who also had the same problem. But this video I would describe as being the Iommi fix. Well, nearly. Now we do have to take a look at the SG itself. It's not the strap. It's not you. It's not me. It's not even Tony Iommi. It's this thing. And it all relates to, well, really the balance of the guitar. Where this body isn't as heavy as a Les Paul body. So it's a light body. And it's a long neck. And it's got that chunk on the top that I talked about before. It's just pretty big, actually. So you've got to do some work on the guitar. There's no shortcut. Now when you take a look down here at the back of the guitar, you can see this is where the, the strap button goes. It's almost screwed into the neck. Well, it probably is screwed into the neck. But that offsets the neck against the body. And you get this massive sort of neck heavy guitar. Oh, you're down there. <laughs> yeah, you get this neck heavy guitar. So let's have a think about what you would do to solve that problem. I've seen some weird things. Well, you can believe it or not, <laughs> I've done some weird things over the years too. What do you mean, I'm weird? <laughs> anyway, one of the things I did, I'll let you into the secret, then you can all laugh about me. It's okay, it's no problem. I've got the strap here, and round the back is the strap that goes on this bit. So there's the guitar. And I, I thought to myself, that's the answer. I need something on there that's a bit of a weight. So, <laughs> crazy me, I went and got one of them weights that divers use and I put it on the side of the strap and it, it fixed it immediately. Yeah, fabulous. There's only one problem. Uh, you go that way. <laughs> so, you know where the, uh, the strap button is around the back? We've seen that. So we're going to move it. And I, I remember going and watching Tony Iommi. Well, I've watched him a lot. I try and learn how to play like that. But somehow, it just isn't in me. I'm not surprised. <laughs> what I noticed was on this little corner here, he took one of these things. Let me get these out. Yeah, I've got them in my hand here. You probably see a picture up there right now. Yeah, one of these things. What he did, I mean, he doesn't care. He's got more money than me and you. He just literally screws one of them on the end of this. Now, I don't think that's the best way because it's all very thin at the end. My guess is it's prone that it'll crack or bend or do one or two things that you don't want it to do and I wouldn't want it to do. So my plan is different. Mine's going to go down there. Don't worry if you can't see it, we're going to go in close and I'm going to show you how I do it. It's not rocket science, but it'll probably save the day 
if you've got an SG that's neck heavy, and there aren't many that aren't. Okay, well it's all good. This is the sort of place where you're going to put it. What Tony Iommi does is put one on the end like this. I don't think that's too good because, well, it's prone to cracking and stripping and all sorts of things. So that's not the thing to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fit one about there, like so, if you can see that. You can't go too far because the further you come, it's going to come out the top with its screw. And the further in you go, the less effect it will have. So you want it about there. Yeah, which is about 13mm in, or 15mm in from that top edge. So you're really going to want to drill it. And by the way, the, the screws that this one comes with, I think these are Ernie Ball ones, are too long. So it's going to pop out the top. So you want shorter screws than this. Okay, well, if you look at the one I've got, the original screw actually goes in and sinks inside. See that? You push it back out. It sinks inside, so it makes it very long. See that? Makes it very long. Far too long for what I would want. So I've got one of these uh, types of screws. If I put that in there, it'll stick out about, uh, I don't know, 13 or 14 mil. It doesn't actually go inside the end of the strap button, but it does stick out far enough for what I want. That's the screw I've got lying around, and I think, I think that's going to do it. Now, you don't want to just screw this in willy-nilly. You really need to drill it from the inside very, very carefully. And I wouldn't drill it too deep or else you can come out the top. So I'm going to go and do that now and we'll be back in a second. Okay, as you can see there, there it is, fitted. And it's got the little washer around it. I've got a white one there, but I did fit a black one. Well, sort of. But it's better if you fit the washer. And you need to try and get this as straight as you can, which is not that easy actually, because the neck's in the way when you're drilling. I've got little bits of tape around the back of my neck. You might just see it there that protects it from getting damaged. Okay, well, don't forget to pull the, uh, the bit of tape off the back of your neck. You did use tape, didn't you? Just to protect your neck. Yeah, fits there. <laughs> well, there it is. Of course, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So I'm going to strap her on, as some might say, and uh, you can see what it looks like. Hold on. Well, here it is. Fastened under there, round there, I didn't change anything else, and you can see it sort of, it doesn't, doesn't go down, doesn't matter what, no I'm not dancing, no, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do, it ain't going to go down, and that's the great thing about having this fixed here, but of course you've got to be just very careful because too big a screw, it's all over, screw it in the end, it's probably going to be all over sooner than later, and Tony Iommi might well tell you that. Go and check his videos. Uh, the Rockerplast thing. That's a good one. And you can see it all there sticking out the end. Uh, pretty awesome really how he did that. And uh, if he doesn't know how to keep an SG straight, I don't know anybody that does. What about the other guy as well, that Angus Young? I don't know what he does. Maybe he's got the weight. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, it's only been a little short video. I just wanted to show you that uh, because, well, nobody else has. I haven't seen that anywhere on YouTube or anywhere else, but uh, go and have a look at Tony Iommi and there it is. Don't forget to visit uh, www.tonymckenzie.com where there's loads of videos and loads of reviews that I never did actually put on, uh, on YouTube. And if you want to see the latest on YouTube, well, there they are. Oh, and by the way... Uh, as of uh, May the 3rd, I had uh, 9 million plus views in my uh, time on YouTube. It's a long time, I agree, probably 9 or 10 years, but it's still 9 million views. That's a lot of views by anybody's standard. So thanks anybody who ever watched the videos, and uh, it's very appreciated. And don't forget to uh, subscribe as well. 
Yeah, you'll see that thing up there now, cackling away in the background like a piece of uh, cooking bacon if you listen to it. <laughs> and it's asking you to subscribe, ring that bell, press the all, and uh, share it out to everybody. And that's what you should do with this. This, uh, this little uh, mod for stopping the... Look, it won't go. <laughs> it's awesome. It really does work. So until next time, get out of here.